Welcome back to Indian Trace. Really unique video here. Just after daybreak. Across the rolling hills of Notchville. Tobacco. The moon is leaving. I don't know if you can see it. Right about there. I can see with my naked eye really good. I don't know if this camera is doing any justice for it. It's just a phone. But uh, we have a winner. Now, God told me to try to make this video for the third time. We have a winner for the Cahokia giveaway. And I was really just led to make it again, make it shorter, say it better. See, you know, I don't know if any of you write or anything, but if you ever bring anything to a publisher or an editor, and it's an outstanding bestseller, well, authors will tell you, we're enjoying the hunt just a little bit here. Kudos in join the hunt to Frank and Brian and many out there. Clarence and Treasure Hunter for Life, Jonesy, who can't always walk or might be in pain. Bring you out here to uh, Eastern Central North Carolina. And this tobacco, see down here uh, where the Indian site was, the blooms have not popped yet. You know, something's going on. Now up here on the top of the rise, where it's not always as much artifacts, the balloons have popped. The winner for the Cahokia giveaway is a woman. I say it that way because I don't know her name. Her profile name is not indicative of her name. But she was the only one. I didn't have to do too much subjective uh, decision making on comments, guys. Absolutely awesome thoughts. Some thoughts about Cahokia I hadn't considered quickly here. But this woman rang the bell to what really uh, stood out to me. I should not say impressed because it breaks my heart. Many civilizations have this trait in common, unfortunately, and they rose and fell. Here is the thread that leads in. Starting with one of the oldest, the Mayan civilization. Following it up, there are other civilizations in Asia, what have you, but then one that most of us in an elementary fashion know, the Egyptian. Look, here comes the sun over there. It's not quite up yet. It's nice enough, cool enough taste out here to have no shirt on. Moving forward, the Egyptian civilization, which had this trait a little bit. They were more arrogant about their pharaohs and their rulers spending all the time of internment with mummification. But not the Mayans. Mayans indiscriminately slaughtered and sacrificed common men for the high, I should say, feelings, for the high regards of their spiritual leaders. Well, it seems like that was brought up to Cahokia a little bit because indeed human sacrifice was made, not as an everyday glory thing like in the Mayans, but at the end of life where important figures were interned and buried in mounds, there were systematic, by the dozens of people sacrificed. People say, why did they end so short, twice the length of the United States in terms of history? Done, gone. And where did they go? Well, I'm going to tell you what. When you get obsessed with destroying indiscriminately precious and sweet human life, I mean, a couple important people may be interned with a dozen, two dozen, 59 or more legitimate, specific sacrifices. Now, if you can go back to each one of those human lives one at a time, oh, they, because of socialization, thought it was fine. And they couldn't resist, I'm sure. But the standout feature was the fact that this kind of large scale, almost commercialized human sacrifice was happening. Something surrounding what they felt was the important about these mounds and the industry and Probably everything stirred together with it, agriculture, but they thought themselves so important and they thought that whatever life they did not have that they were going to was more important than this life that they have now. Don't be fooled, everybody. I'm just going to tell you this one Bible scripture. It's clear, and I believe it. 
that it is appointed for men once to die and then comes judgment. Human sacrifice. You say, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Well, I know people, and since I'm a man, it doesn't affect me. It has, I haven't had, had to cross the path of abortion. But listen, I know it's politically charged, and congratulations to the woman who's in the description who won the Cahokia giveaway. Go back a couple videos, everybody, and you'll see it. Uh, listen, very quickly, though. What's going to become of a nation that, and that a lot of people war against this, indiscriminately slaughter innocent children that kick, play, go to the bathroom, burp, have expressions, uh, uh, wrestle around, uh, are individuals in the womb waiting for this life. And then somebody steps in and says, no, uh, nah, you can't live. You don't qualify as a life because I haven't seen you before, because I haven't held you. Uh, it's a slippery slope. And people say, well, geez, I can abort my child before it's recognizable. Listen, within six weeks, that child has its own individual heartbeat, and I will not get on the, the soapbox of abortion. I know too many precious women who have had one in the past, maybe... They were confused. But even, listen, let's go back to Cahokia. Even there, I bet you many, 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 many of the people didn't question the validity, the, the importance of those human sacrifices. But pandemic disease hit that place. And I bet you within 20 years, within 10 years, those people were wiped out. Most uh, epidemiologists and archaeologists together believe this is probably the case in around 1,200 or so, and some people maybe have better details than me. This is it for the video. It was systematic large-scale human sacrifice that stood out. The internment of bodies in meticulous and obsessive ways, piles, layers, thinking that the life to come was more important than this one here. It's not. You have one life to live. Let's do it strong. And on behalf of honor to you, Frank, getting out here with me today, Jonesy, quiet is not good. Treasure Hunter for Life, quiet is not good if you happen to get by this. Let God give you strength. For those people who are hurting Clarence Cliff, be well out there. If I've missed anybody, uh, the heart of this video is for you. You get a chance to get out a little bit. And the beauty of a nice morning. Be well. And go slow.